We've got a little bit of a situation. Grass. And I think I know who did this. The reason we can't have nice things. Why do why do Endermen have silk touch when they move things? Really annoying. But that's okay, because today is packing day. Last episode, I managed to get this thing. The mysterious Echo Pog. And that means that today I can do refined storage. Ouch. <laughs> refined storage. Hello! Episode 25. I'm very excited about this one. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm excited in general about playing Vault Hunters, but I'm very, very excited to finally be able to get some better control over all of this because it's very much getting out of hands. So my goal for today is to build a refined storage system. And the beauty with a refined storage system is that it's very easy to move. Like, like, ridiculously easy. Literally one block or a few blocks you move and then and then you're done. Then you set it up and you got all your stuff, thousands of items and it's just it's just brilliant. And the absolute first thing I want to do is craft the controller. It's a very expensive boy. Machine casing silicon. Yes. Oh, I already had a bunch of silicon. Oops. A raw advanced processor. I, I might I might make like four of these and smelt it up. Two perfect black opals and two perfect Lermars. And here we go. Controller. Unreal. That's a really good feeling. The holy grail of refined storage. On its own though, this book doesn't really do anything. But if put together with the other... Ooh. Oh, I forgot about that. If put together with the other things, it can do a lot. I think I should move... Yeah, I should move my power generator to down here while I set this up. After all, it is the beauty with refined storage. M being able to move things around very easily. Thermal generator, energy cell, and then I can attach the controller directly to this and boom! Lights up because now it has power. And then the way refined storage works is that any block connected to each other like this automatically connects. And now the screen lights up and then if I put my disk drive there, that is connected as well, even though it doesn't have any fancy lights yet. Now I can also use cables to wire things together. So for example, if I really want to, which I may want later, I could have these here and then use a cable in between the controller and my system and now everything is connected. The next thing I need is hard drives. Storage disk. And this is where it's gonna start getting expensive. There are a bunch of different ones. The 1K, 4K, 16K, and 64K. And basically the K is a thousand, so this stores at 1,000 items, 4,000 items, etc, etc, etc. It is cheaper the higher up you go. So a 4K one requires a 4K storage part, which requires three 1Ks, not four. And the same, of course, with a 16, which requires three 4Ks, which is actually 12,000 and not 16,000. So you get bonus the higher up you go. However, every other component is much more expensive, so... It's about being smart here, and I think I think the 4Ks is a good start, so I need Vault Nuggets, I need a lot of Vutodai, and then Alexandrite. And then for the 1Ks, oh, I need a lot of Lermar. Okay, I should probably start by breaking down some of my richities. Here goes, please get lucky. I'm gonna turn my magnet on for this one. Oh, okay, there's more up there. Yeah, not the best. I guess I'll do... I'll do one more. Oof. I had over two stacks of Lermar. There's something about breaking down ores in Minecraft that's always really, really satisfying. Anyway, that's a bunch of Lermar for now. I'm also gonna need Vutodai, of which I don't actually have that much. That's that's pretty much all I have. And Alexandrite? Yeah, I need Alexandrite as well. Hmm. Investing a stack? You can't undo perfects. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's done. It's done. And I need some more of this quartz enriched iron. And it looks like I'm now completely out of quartz. So I may have to go to the nether in a moment. Seven. I can craft seven of them. I think it's silicon though. Silicon is just smelted up nether quartz. But that's seven one case. And I'm aiming to do the four case. So in addition, I do need the Vutodai and then Alexandrite and then the nuggets. Oh, this is really expensive. But this is what I have saved up for. So... There we go, that's one and two 4K. So currently, my storage system, if I put this together now, would be able to hold 
8,000, 9,000 items. That does sound a lot, doesn't it? But 9,000 items is actually not that much if you think about it. Now this is where drawers come into place. I'm planning on storing all the bulk items like 11,400 stone in drawers because the, the, these discs couldn't even store what is in this one drawer. Gotta be big brain with this stuff. Anyway, I need quartz. I've got more silicon and I can make 14 before I'm out of Laramar. So that's one more 4K, two more 4Ks, three more 4Ks. Five times four is 20,000. That may be enough to get started. Very, very expensive, but it's a good investment. If I can handle loot better, I can I can be more organized and, and all of that stuff. Nope, I'm making these. So now that I have my storage parts, I need to put them in a storage disc and that should be fairly straightforward. Just some redstone and some glass and boom, five hard drives. And then I put them in here and this is now a storage system. Check this out. Nice. And that was 308 items in total. <laughs> it goes very, very quick with all of the different things. Which is why I want to make this a smart drawer-based refined storage system of Doom. And for that, I'm gonna need an external storage, this thing. Which luckily is not that expensive. One of you, one of you, golden one, few chests, and boom. External storage. And this little thing is extremely powerful. Together with drawers, check this out. If I attach it to my storage controller and then cable it back to my system, and remember I can attach the cable to any part of the system, it doesn't need to be the controller. This is going to read the inventory of this block, which in turn read the inventory of all of the drawers as we've done it before and, aha! I can now access all of my drawer stuff inside my refined storage. And if I right click this thing, click the priority button and raise the priority to something really high, let's say 100, then when I take something out and put it back in, it's not actually going to go on the disks. As you can see, they're all zeros. It's gonna go back into the system. I absolutely love being smart around refined storage because essentially I've just extended the amount of storage cap capability by a lot. I may look like I have a lot of drawers already, but oh, there he is. There he is. There's the grass man. And now he's gone. <laughs> Why? Oh, wait a minute. I saw him again. He's toying with me. Get out of my house, fort. Anyway, as I was saying, it looks like I have a lot of drawers, but I'm gonna need a lot more. In fact, I'm gonna aim to craft up another stack of these, which means that I need to break down the Beniotite that I have left and hope for the best. That is, yes, that's enough for one more stack with some to spare. Today is the day where I spend all of my resources and then turn them into the framed version and then turn the frame version into not that. That. Yes. Now, I have a big task ahead of me, and that is to figure out what items to put in the drawers. And highly temporarily, I'm also going to link them up, if I can, to my current system. So, if I have that and put these in here, they don't reach. Really? Maybe I need to put one in first and then do this? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Good, so if I temporarily put up all of these here, that will make it easier for me to put the items inside them. This is gonna get really messy, but it's a necessity on pack day. And I'm gonna try and get absolutely everything that I can eventually farm into drawers. So pork chops, magma cream, <laughs> mutton, gunpowder, coal, apples. Yeah, you, you get the idea. I'm gonna try and get absolutely everything I can fitted into drawers because it's gonna save me so much resources in hard drive space. Aha! I think this is a good start. I still have some to spare, but I think I'm at a point where I can lock it in. And all of these should have padlocks on them, they do. And quantify them, good. And now, because of my very smart connection here, 
I can start to dump items. Well, ac actually, I prefer I prefer sunlight when I dump my items. And I gotta be honest, I have been looking forward to do this. <laughs> this is gonna be so satisfying. So I take all of the chests and... Oh, I should have emptied my inventory first. It would have been smart, but now, since I have this on higher priority, I can just start dumping stuff in here. And, and of course, some of the things are going to go into the storage hard drives themselves. But hopefully, not to a point where... Yeah, that was 146 of all of those items that went into the hard drives. This is brilliant. I'm going to make sure that my inventory is empty though, so it's easier to see what I'm doing. This, if anything, is a feeling of progression. And I do apologize to all of those of you who've only ever played vanilla. You're, you're gonna get a bit addicted to refined storage. It's such a nice way to deal with storage. <laughs> That's some family members just floating in the masses. <laughs> you got a new fancy home family. Uh, do I vein mine the last chests? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Satisfaction. Great success. And I now have majority of my things in this nice searchable stick grid. I love refined storage. It fits my unorganized personality perfectly. <laughs> now there is one more thing I can do to make the system even smarter and that is to install a monitorization device as in a block with a lever, and then on my external storage, I can switch this little redstone torch to be only work without redstone. And now if I turn this on, it's going to shut off all the drawers from the grid, giving me access to all the items that have overflown or is not part of my drawers. And this is great for me to see where I need a drawer or where I need an upgrade. For example, I have 337 granite here, which means that either I don't have a granite drawer, which I don't, or it's full. And since I don't have a granite drawer in this case, well, I'll simply add one. Because granite is one of those items that is going to take up a lot of space in the future. This little lever trick is going to be very useful to build into this system once I set it up for real. Now, in total, there are currently 6,800 items on my on my hard drives, which, that's that's good. That's call, that's what I call a great success with the drawers. However, I do still have a few chests that I do need to empty. Like this, for example. This has bugged me for a while. But it's just sitting here. Oh, not to mention my valuables chest. All of this can go in here. Now, there is one big vulnerability to all of this. And that is, of course, power. If I do run out of power at this point... I won't be able to access my items, so I've got to stay on top with refilling this with water, because otherwise it's not actually generating anything. Oh, and I can also check inside the controller. I'm using 13 FE per tick, so as long as this thing has water, I'm generating more power than I'm using, which is very, very important. And I wonder if I can easily do something with this faucet. I have no idea how it works. Not like that. A jar, glass, and a slab. I love, I love refined storage. Jar, and then can I fill it with, I can fill it with water. And then what about this thing? Oh, it does attach. And it does pour out water. Okay, I wonder if I can attach it to this thing though. If I put that there, and then the faucet like that. Does that fill this up? Oh, it does! Oh, it works! It actually works, I mean. I, I now have the problem of filling this thing, but that gives me a visual indicator. That's actually, yeah, that's actually nicer. It's a little bit of a buffer. Oops. <laughs> this is literally the fuel of my life right now. The fuel of everything. Now, I do have a little bit of a precaution if you're playing Vault Hunters on your own, and if you've gone into refined storage like I have. Avoid putting your vault gear inside because every piece of vault gear has a lot of data on it oops that's my pickaxe as in a lot of different stats and stuff like that and that makes the size of this item technically be larger than the size of let's say an ender pearl and if you put too many vault gear items in here you risk overflowing the data storage like the physical the actual data storage of this one block causing you well to 
crash. So avoid putting bolt gear inside a refined storage, that is my advice. But as far as everything else goes, I mean, go nuts. I think I've now emptied all of my items except my bolt gear and these boys. And these chests are gonna start taking up a lot of space, but here we go. Oh, oh, the system is, oh, the system is completely full. It couldn't handle all of the items that's lay there. Okay, so now this lever is going to be super useful because now I get to see exactly what it is that takes up space. And it's all of these odd blocks that I don't really, that I don't really store on drawers at the moment. So time to put up some more drawers and then move these items into drawers. And look at that. I freed up a lot of space by moving all of these blocks over to drawers. However, I did spot netherrack in the shut off version of the smart storage system, which means that the netherrack barrel or drawer must be completely full. Yep, it is. So that means I need to install a little bit of an upgrade. A diamond one increases it by 16 times the base value, so that's quite a lot. Lasts quite a while. And netherrack is going to be one of those blocks that I'm probably going to... Probably gonna have a lot of. There we go. And now things are looking very clean and I'm utilizing my drawers very, very well. Did I just compliment myself? <laughs> good job, Escal. You can do it. But good news, I have now successfully cleaned up every single chest inside the bay, except for except for these items, which that, that was a rip off Hans. I don't want any of these, actually. Everything I own now accessible from this little system. I think I may have enough statues to get my next Omega statue. 88% and buy. Yep, I, I got it. I'll. I'll uh... Oh, I can't do that. I need to. <laughs> I need to refill it with water. There you go. Throw these in. Starting at 20%. Nice. And as always, for my Omega statues, I'm hoping to get things that appear in the altar. And so far, I've got granite and prismarine. Even though that, that drawer definitely needs an upgrade. That is uh, not doing it. Prismarine is being lazy at the moment. Anyway, hopefully I get something that's hard to farm. Like, I don't know, acacia logs. Uh, basalt? Birch? Birch is great. Birch is absolutely fantastic. That's one less tree farm to worry about. I think basalt is... Easier to farm than birch. Right? I don't actually know now. Maybe basalt is better. Uh, I gotta go birch. I gotta go birch. And it's a fundy. It's a gigantic fundy. I wonder who you should become. Birch girl? Ah, oh, no skin. Birch boy? Ah. Uh, mm, how about just birch? <laughs> yes. That's brilliant. <laughs> Welcome, Birch. Birch is a very sophisticated boy. I'm now at a stage where I could move. All of my items are packed down into these drawers and these hard drives. Why is this drawer empty? <laughs> That's weird. Anyway, what I mean to say is it's very, very simple for me to move now. So we'll probably do that next time because now I feel like I need to get out of the fort and into a vault. I'm feeling like I want to run a raffle crystal and try and beat the five minutes and become the champion at the end of the week once again. And also, it's gonna be very interesting to see how much easier it is to craft a crystal now that I have my searchable system. Well, I mean, granted that I have the items required for the crystal. Here we go. Ooh, I think this is pretty good, actually. I do have Prismarine, because I got it from a statue, and I do have enough. Oh, this is, this is brilliant. Later, I will actually be able to automate this part as well, but that's quite a bit in the future still. For now, I'm just mega happy <laughs> with, with the ease of searching. Dragon, yes, dragon head, I have four. Stack of coal and rose bushes. I probably need to farm them, so bone meal and sophisticated farming. And done. Now, usually when I craft a crystal, I make it into a fancy montage and you don't see the struggle I've had just looking through chests to find things. This was just so much better. So I am absolutely relieved. And as I said, I do want to run a raffle crystal. So 
There we go. I should show this, by the way. If you want to, when you have a raffle crystal, you can shift right click and change the raffle boss name. I mean, that is if you have any friends. Let, let's let's make it into Mumbo Jumbo. That's actually quite scary because I really don't want to lose to Mumbo Jumbo. Anyway, time to get dressed and I think, yeah, I should probably repair my helmet once again. Wait a minute, actually, 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 actually. First, I gotta plate it. It doesn't have plating on it. Aha, that's much better, much better. Then I can get away with not repairing it for a little bit longer. Hmm, I choose you, Velara. Velara, my beloved. All right, quick refresh. If I beat the boss within five minutes, I will get this week's speed record because I'm in a single player world. I'm not competing against anyone but myself in the five minutes. And if I hit five minutes, I will get another champion crate containing an artifact and other goodies at the end of the week. So I'm hoping for three obelisks or very lucky spawning of obelisks. But I think, oh, that's the wrong axe. Oof, I'm glad I checked that and I think I should actually use the axe to kill the boss because it has smite on it And and even though it's a mumbo-jumbo, it's a it's an undead mumbo-jumbo. Oh, and one more thing power bar Yes, here I go Five obelisks and crowded. Oh, that's pretty terrible for a speed run. I'll give it a go though Oh, That, that was that was lag. That was lag. Oh, everything is going bad. This was in bag mode. Oh, as I was saying, I'll give it a go, even though I wasted 30 seconds just falling down that hole for no reason. And the mobs actually hurt quite a lot. Ouch. Now, the problem with the raffle vault is that they are locked, so I have to fight my way out of this vault. I can't just cancel my run here. Oh, that's one obelisk, though. Oh, and this one would be great to do as my last obelisk because bosses, uh, they can't swim. They suck at swimming. Sorry, Mumbo. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was not me laughing. That was not me in post-edit laughing. That is an easter egg in the game that I've never come across myself. I believe it's an Escalian witch somewhere. It's something that the developers have done, but I may have despawned her as I ran through, which kind of sucks a little bit. Because I think she has a very rare drop. Oh, that's annoying. And now I definitely can't do the speed run. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Where are my obelisks? Oh, an omega room. But I'm gonna have to pass on that one because it's crowded. I may check the village though. I mean, the the the, the speed run is. I can't. I can't. Yo, yes, yes. The speed run. I was gonna say the speed run is is already too lost. I think. Oh, and it starts terribly bad with an explosion with all the silverfish. That's not a my offender. That's my offender. I gotta refill those as well. Stop, please. I'm just here to loot. Oh, I hate you. Just gonna that, that was poisoned. That was a poison chest. Ooh, this is uh, a little bit scary. Oh, oh, the brains of that one. Am I gonna get any chest? That was one. <laughs> That was three trap chests in a row. Okay, get a bit lucky here, please. That's better. Probably the worst portal room I've had, though. I'm also getting seriously unlucky with obelisks. Oh, that's one, though. Oh, a dig site! Not ideal that this is a crowded vault, but one treasure. I'll dig up one treasure. After all, this is my favorite, favorite Omega room. Ouch! Unfortunately, that's all she wrote, because I'm actually running out of healing potions. Hmm. I'll do this though, waste three minutes. Oh, it's an idol. Oh, I found an echo gem in those gilded chests, or in that gilded chest down in there. Oh, that's big, that's big, that's big. I am, however, starting to get a little bit stressed out with the fact that I'm not finding any obelisks, but I have explored quite a bit, so I'm probably gonna come across a few in a row. And my healing potion situation, as I say, is not looking strong. Oh, I see an obelisk. And there's another one. Only one more to go. Ooh, do I risk it? Yes. Oh, I got a vendor favor. And I'm actually at the end of the vault here. <laughs> oh no, I have to go all the way back. Six minutes remaining. This is getting a bit scary. What have I done? 
This has to be the most unlucky raffle vault I have done so far. That's my start. Right, so I've just I've just crossed the vault. Aha! This room is also actually not awful if I eat my cobalt apples for fall damage. I mean, I don't have much choice here. Four minutes remaining. And I'd be really sad if Mumbo Jumbo kills me in Vault Hunters. Oh, he doesn't have armor. He doesn't have armor. Yes, that's a good sign. Mumbo! Go down, please! Yes! Iskal defeated Mumbo Jumbo! That's right! Woo! That got pretty intense. Now luckily, I'm still on the 12.5 patch where Rampage Shaman is still very powerful. And the reason for that is because we have been having some issues with the last patch and we've hotfixed it, I think, twice or three times at this point in time. So I'm just waiting, <laughs> waiting for the patch to be completely bug free. It's not terrible at the moment. But yeah, because because I'm part of the development team, I'm just basically biding my time. Anyway, that vault was terrifying, but I did I did get an echo gem, and now when I store things away, oh, this is so very nice, so very nice. Dowski trader with oh a full vault burger, two idols. I mean, I, I'm not expecting a lot of loot from that vault. A scrappy Wendar with cooldown and a common Idona with nothing. Have a look in the boss crate. Ah, oh, Mambo didn't give me an artifact. Oh, another Echo Gem though! Woo! Okay, that's crazy. And I mean, crazy good. And two unidentified relics. Oh, I don't think I have those leggings. And I, I don't, do I have that? I do, I do have that. I have four of that now. But I don't have these, and that's part of the T-Wolf set. And speaking of my relic, did I see a relic? Yeah, I did have one more relic that I moved in earlier. And that's the miner set, which I've already completed. Two Echo Gems in total from that vault. That's, uh, that, that's great. That's fantastic. And common plus leggings. And... Actually, they're not terrible. Five base armor. 0.6, so they have the same stats as these, but they don't have, well, I mean, they have one open slot. Maybe they are, maybe they are worthy of my backup chest. Sword with soulbound and the boots that are not that great. And a Mambo Jumbo statue generating cobblestone. Of course he's generating cobblestone. That's, uh, that's very iconic of you, Mambo, to be generating cobblestone. Very, very troublesome of you. Of course, as you know, majority of the loot ends up in my danks. And you see, there was a reason I wanted to run a vault, because I have one more function to add to my new storage system. This thing here, a dock. It's a little bit pricey with the black opal, but totally worth it. And then I'm gonna need something called an importer, this thing, which is actually very affordable. Aha! Now these two items together, are fantastic. Check this out. I put the dock down, break this cable and replace it with my importer facing downwards. And now, if I take my Dank, or Mr. Hank the second, I can put it in here, and items are immediately going to start being sucked into the system and organized neatly with everything else. However, it's doing so extremely slowly and without filtering the items, so it'll just pull all of my stone in, and that can be solved. First things first, on my importer, if I put a stone here, this is in blacklist mode and will therefore skip the stone and go for the next item, which is the Bolo Enchanting, and I also don't want it to extract any Bolo Enchanting, so I can blacklist those as well, and on and on it goes. I also want to keep Hearty Apples and Eye of Enders, but the rest of it, get sucked in. Now for the speed. I do need to make myself a few upgrade cards and these are fairly cheap to make and I'm gonna make a total of five. I then need to turn them into speed upgrades which also fairly cheap and then four of them together with an echo gem will create a stack upgrade and I'm actually going to invest that one echo gem I got in the boss crate because in terms of organization, this is Omega. And then what I can do is put my stack upgrade in here and my speed upgrade in there. And now, instead of pulling one item out at a time, it's going to take up to a full stack. And if I really want to have this super fast, I could install two more speed upgrades, which I'm going to do. Brilliant. And as you can see, it won't take the last item, so the filter of the dank will still remain. Then, when the dank is done, I take it out and I have to put it back to whatever 
pickup mode it was in, and then I can go and do the same thing with all the others. Ah, this is, this is quality of life, and this is going to make me so more efficient in terms of being able to run vaults back to back. And that's it. All of the tanks have now been emptied into the system, and I am just a little bit richer. Of course, the fort has now turned into potentially an even messier place, but it's only messy with placement. Everything is actually super organized and really easy to move. So, as I said, that's what we're gonna do next episode. But we are out of video time for today, so that's all I have for today. I really do hope that you enjoyed this he tech heavy episode and hopefully it wasn't too repetitive and I, I taught some of you some stuff in regards to refined storage and, and drawers and all of that stuff. If you did enjoy it, do hit the like button down below and if you're brand new, consider subscribing and I will see you in the next episode. Hello, even though we're, we're moving next episode, I, I, I've moved things around and cleaned everything up a little bit. This, this looks a lot better, doesn't it? Yep, I should have done that earlier, but here we are. Anyways, see you next time.